Okay, let's head on over to Tutor Mood. And the first thing that I want to include with my lesson plan is probably Newton's Laws. Yeah, definitely Newton's Laws. So with Newton Lo Newton's Laws, you got three of them. The first one being an object in motion stays in motion. An object in motion stays in motion. And an object at rest stays at rest. An object, an object at rest stays at rest unless, so it's going to be moving at the same velocity it's saying, unless it's acted upon, acted upon an outside force. And an outside force can be something like kicking or shoving or pulling a rope or any other force really was acted upon by an outside force. And this is pretty interesting because first of all, what Newton's law is saying, first of all, it's inertia. It's essentially what inertia is. If you have an object that's moving, it's going to keep moving. That's exactly what inertia is all about. And second of all, what it's more importantly saying is that if you have a constant velocity, so you have a constant velocity, what that means is that you have zero acceleration, acceleration is zero, because remember velocity, a lot of people get velocity and acceleration confused. Easy way to remember it is like velocity you can see really easily, like if an object's moving it has velocity, when it's not moving its velocity is zero. However, with acceleration, remember, it's the change in velocity. So if I have myself slowing down, like I'm driving in a car and I slow down, the acceleration is negative because the change in velocity is negative. Having said that, then, when I slow down to a stop and then start going in reverse, notice the velocity is always like positive, and then once I stop, it's zero, and then I turn around, it starts getting negative. But the acceleration is always negative, right? Because you start slowing down, in other words, the change in velocity is negative because you're slowing down. Even when you're at zero velocity, your acceleration is still negative. It's not zero. It's still negative, and that's because the velocity is still changing, right? You have a positive velocity, and then it shifts over to a negative velocity. So for that reason, it's going to be a negative acceleration the entire time, even when the velocity is zero. Because acceleration is not velocity, it's the change in velocity. So what we were saying is we have constant velocity, that means the acceleration is zero, and it also means that the net force is zero, F net is zero. So one thing that's important to realize is that the acceleration is always going to point in the same direction as net force, like always, like there's no exception to that, it's just always going to be the case. And that's just like an inherent property, like if you're pushing on something like an object or whatever, or you're accelerating in your car in a specific direction, no matter which way you push it or pull it, the object's going to start accelerating in that way. The object might not moving velocity in that direction, but its change in velocity is going to start moving in the direction that you're applying a force. So really think about change in velocity when it comes to acceleration, not just the velocity itself.